will be worth at least $654 million. Let me say it again, $654, more than a half a billion up for grabs. Wednesday's Powerball is up to $345 million. Jump change. I know. You add it up together, it's just a little shy of a billion dollars. Your odds of winning both, about one in 75 quadrillion, but that's both. And yep, that's 15 zeros if you're wondering what quadrillion was. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so many zeros. Mm. So many reasons to smile. Well, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, they may feel like they've already won the lottery. Kensington Palace announcing this morning that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expecting a baby this spring. The royal couple told their family at Princess Eugenie's wedding last week. They're now on a two-week trip to Australia and New Zealand. Their baby would be seventh in line to the throne. And you know what's interesting about that picture right there? You see how they're smiling and they look well-rested and they look wonderful. <laughs> yes. Let's That's go after the baby is born and they're going to look like Bill Kelly over here oh. when he's got twins at home. What are you saying about uh. Bill Kelly? He looks tired. Wait, yeah, wait a minute. Wait what a are minute. you saying about Bill Kelly over there? <laughs> wow. So I'm going to take it as he sees me as royalty. That's the way okay. I'm going no to No question it. about yes. it. No, Good you are royal. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's tough with those little ones getting some sleep and, you know. Everybody's been to do. Most of us have been there. I know, exactly it's, it's right. It's a rough little patch. Let me show you what's happening out there this evening. You got a few breaks out in the clouds cover out to the west. It's a very nice night. Temperatures are up near 70 degrees in, in many spots. 70 degrees at Reagan National, 65 in Gaithersburg right now. We have 71 in Manassas. That warm front came up. Much warmer right now than it was yesterday, this time, certainly. 67 degrees at Dulles, Martinsburg, 66. And Ocean City right now at 74. You go down to Richmond, it's nearly 80 degrees. Virginia Beach right now, 79, was 81 earlier. But you're, you head to the west, you get to central Ohio, it's only 52 in Columbus, 56 in Parkersburg. And I draw that out because that cooler air is what is heading this way. It is a cold front. It's one of several that we are going to be watching for this week. And our temperatures, they're going down. It's pretty crazy. I mean, if you think about it, last week through Thursday, every day up there, upper 70s and into the 80s. Then the cold front came through last Thursday. And the weekend, as you know, was uh, cool. We went from summer to you know, late fall, just like that. No transition, and we're going to continue to see that with a few rain showers as we go into the evening hours tonight. Here's 8, 9 o'clock. This is not widespread rain, but throughout the evening hours tonight, specifically between roughly 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. tonight, we could see some uh, heavier rainfall at times in spots roll through. Once we get past midnight, for the most part, that is all gone. And then our day tomorrow, we start out dry. We have a few clouds out there in the morning. Those start to clear out in the afternoon. Some breezes, by the way, overnight and tomorrow as well. But a nice day, it will just be much cooler than today. You walk outside right now, that's about where we should be for this time of year. Upper 60s to about 70 degrees. Tomorrow, despite a little bit of sunshine, we're in the low 60s. I mean, it's going to be a relatively cool day again. So the next couple of hours look like this. We're going to go 69 degrees at 7, keep it there at 9, 67 at 11. Some showers later on. It is cloudy, it is cool, and then we end up, those showers coming to an end, 40s and 50s. It's going to be mostly cloudy overnight. It's going to be chilly with those breezes up to about 20 miles per hour gusting. Then unseasonably cool tomorrow. You will want that light coat, that sweatshirt during the daytime hours. 60 for the high temperature. And then looking ahead, another front on Wednesday. That one brings us some gusts of wind, 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. It doesn't bring us rain, but it brings us much cooler conditions. By Thursday, we're talking about 50s for highs. So by Friday morning early, widespread areas down into the 30s. So we're going to be watching that very closely. We'll likely have frost advisories out, certainly for the mountains to the west. We'll be keeping our eyes on that, guys. We'll send it back over to you. Mm -hmm. All right, Bill, thanks very much. Time to talk soccer because yes. they could do something the big. The playoffs right there. It's huge. Can't right? you grab it? You want to grab it? You can, can grab, grab it. it. I can feel it right now. Yes. 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 All that stuff. We can do everything. Just win your next two and you're in the playoffs. How's that for pressure? I hear from D.C. United head coach Ben Olsen on what it will take. That's next in sports. I'm Jennifer Wexton, and I approve this message. Seen Barbara Comstock's fake ad? Jennifer Wexton backed a deal leading to massive tolls on 66. Nonsense. Jennifer Wexton fought the tolls on 66. And let's call this plan what it is, the way that it's been rolled out. It's highway robbery. There's also health care robbery. Barbara Comstock voted to sabotage the health care market, hiking premiums up to 64%. Barbara, a Trump stock. Everything that's wrong in Washington. Which Virginia member of Congress votes the most with Donald Trump? Barbara Comstock. She voted with Trump 97.8% of the time, including...